FreeMMOStation.com. Hello, my name is Sul Namajneb with Free MMO Station, and welcome to Velvet Sundown. The best way I can describe this game is that it's a chat room RPG. It's a game I really enjoy playing, and I admire how unique it is. The game is available on Steam, and you can either play it for free or pay for a premium account. I'll get into the premium account soon enough. Pictures the gold finger. Whoa, a menu screen! On the left, there's a chat room with nobody saying anything interesting. I, I turned this game on, and the first thing I see in the chat is how do you have sex? On the right, there are gameplay options. The first is a tutorial that just has you talk to a cardboard cutout and give it a passport. I FUCKING DID IT! I find it weird that this is assigned to last for 10 minutes. What could you possibly do in that time? What? You just gonna give me the fucking silent treatment? Huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Huh? My name is Mary James, and I'm going to be doing a monologue from Assassins. Mm hmm Have it your way! Have it your way! You still there, dick? I'm starting to lose it here, babe. Talk to me down! Oh, yeah, baby. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, you like when I kiss your neck? Yeah. Mmm. The game is so simple to play that I feel like it isn't even necessary. Here's how the game works. You are randomly assigned a character who is on board a yacht called the Velvet Sundown. Each character on board has a specific goal that they have to accomplish and everybody's goal conflicts with someone else's goal in some other way. And you have to use your wit to convince everybody to help you out. Hello, madam. Do you like... Do you like whales? Then you will be interested in this. She signed my petition. Thank you. This means so much to me. If you are in need of sexual attention, I am there for you, because you saved the whales. Well, she dazed me. Well, I'm... I'm sorry about that. Via talking to people, trading information, bribing, etc. Whether you accomplish your goal or not, the game leaves you with a everybody wins kind of feeling. Rather than telling you that you failed your goal, it tells you that you feel like there could have been something more, and it encourages you to play the scenario again. Since you are assigned a character, there aren't many options for, you know, character customization, which is something I hope for in the future, because that would allow people to make their own character characters with unique character traits that could be weaved into the story of the scene. Or even better, make up your own story. What that fool Malik doesn't know, however. Yes, I want to teach the whales the way of the Force, but not in the way of the light side. The light side is weak. The light side has too many pussies in it. I am the true Whale Master, and the controller of the Force. What Malik doesn't know about me won't hurt him. But one day he will know my true identity as Darth Whale. This is a game where the story is laid out for you, but you decide how the story is told, or even if the story is told at all. In some cases, you'll end up creating your own story. The Whales will roam the Earth. The whales will murder everybody. Every natural disaster on this planet has been because of me and the whales. The Titanic whales. The Hindenburg whales. The Holocaust whales. Christian Bale whales. Although, for the most part, people just get bored and try to fuck each other. And I'll admit that I am guilty of doing so as well. 
But the game never discourages you from doing whatever you want, and that's what's so great about it. Your victories are your victories, and the game never makes you feel like you failed. Ever since my black wiener saw you, it wanted to do everything. Thing to your there are two scenarios to choose from, but you can only choose one if you're not a premium player. The free-to-play scenario changes every week, but because of this it means that more people have played it over and over and know what the story for every character is. So it leads to metagaming, meaning that they don't roleplay and instead tell people how to achieve their goals in-game. But the community isn't always this bad. When I recorded, I actually didn't get any metagamers. The scenarios are assigned to last about half an hour, but if you're premium, they last about 40 minutes to an hour, and more people can join the fun. Being a premium player costs about $7 a month, and you can pay directly through Steam. I personally enjoyed this game so much that I was more than willing to try out a premium account for this video. And while the subscription fee does go toward more content being made for the game, you don't really get much for it. Sure, you get access to all two scenarios, but people who have a premium account are rarely online, so you're better off just playing the free scenario anyway because people are actually online to play it. I am one of three people online right now who actually have a friggin' premium account. However, one thing that I found worth paying for are the voices. They make sex so much more intimate. I want to suck that big heart in. My heart. <laughs> yes, your hat. <laughs> and my mom, yes, I want a good job. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that was the best sex ever! And that's Velvet Sundown. Go check it out and have fun. Like and favorite if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment telling us what you think of the game, and of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm Sewell and the Maginep from Free MMO Station. Stay sensual. Bye. My life is a wreck! You are telling me about Mary! <laughs> My life! I give you everything and you hurt me! Ah!